I'm going to show you a very clear Bitcoin signal that I have never shown to you before. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, again, amazing news I'm going to talk about, a couple of charts that I've not shown you ever before and that they show a clear and they show a clear Bitcoin signal. And yes, of course, ending it with an inspirational quote. Let's quickly jump into the news first because I want to show this news as I really, really, really love what is happening to Bitcoin all over the world now. The first news item for today, guys, is about El Salvador, our Bitcoin country. Of course, with our Bitcoin president, Najib Bukele, we are going to talk about El Salvador. Why? Because they just announced that they are going to roll out Bitcoin certifications for 80,000 civil servants. So they're going to educate all of the civil servants working for the government in El Salvador about Bitcoin. Why Bitcoin is important. Why they should hold Bitcoin. Why Bitcoin needs to be integrated in the economy. How to integrate Bitcoin in the economy. What it has for a positive effect on the country. What Bitcoin mining can do for El Salvador, etc. etc. All the basics about Bitcoin are being educated now to 80,000 civil servants in El Salvador. That is what I call a Bitcoin country. Not only buying Bitcoin, but also mining Bitcoin, and then also educating all their civil servants about Bitcoin, so they will educate all the people in El Salvador again about the use case and the importance of Bitcoin for their country. That is how you tackle Bitcoin as a country. And the most beautiful part is that El Salvador has been discussing this already since May with Argentina, with Javier Milei. You know Javier Milei, also a very pro-Bitcoin president. And they have been talking since May already about the adoption of Bitcoin in El Salvador, how that could also reflect the adoption of Bitcoin in Argentina, what it could do for the economy of Argentina, and how it could make Argentina independent of the US dollar. So believe me, you might find there's a very small step that a very, that a very small country is going to educate 80,000 civil servants about Bitcoin, but whole of South America is going to see this. And all of South America is going to see that El Salvador is becoming a better country, a richer country, more tourism, etc. And all of these countries, Argentina, Brazil, and all those other South American countries had huge amounts of inflation. I think Argentina and Venezuela had up to 9,000% of inflation. These countries really have the need for Bitcoin. And if they now see one of their neighbor countries becoming very successful because of the adoption of Bitcoin, even educating civil servants about Bitcoin, those countries that are undergoing shitloads of inflation, they might think now, wow, we should really look more into Bitcoin. And maybe then Javier Millet can now also do what he said instead of only saying things about Bitcoin. He was very positive about Bitcoin. He was very positive about shutting down the central bank's digital currencies. Now that he's president, he needs to shut down the central banks and he needs to start implementing Bitcoin. And that is how you do it, just the way El Salvador did it, by educated 80,000 civil servants, guys. Huge step for Bitcoin. Now, I have a second news item. The second news item I read for today, guys, is that now you can pay with Bitcoin for your gasoline in Canada. There is one gas station that did the first transaction. I found that one on Instagram, I think. The first transaction at a gas station in Canada with Bitcoin. All possible now. Yes, adoption in Bitcoin is growing all over the world, guys. Even here in Spain, I was arriving yesterday to a Padel course, and there was a huge sign casacrypto.es I think you can buy all these houses on this website casacrypto.es with Bitcoin but I need to check it out I haven't checked it I just saw the huge billboard next to the highway casacrypto.es I think you can buy a house there go check it for yourself I will check it today a lot of adoption happening amazing times for a Bitcoiner to be alive bam now that we've been talking about the news, let's quickly jump into the charts to see how Bitcoin is doing price-wise because there was a huge level of resistance around 62K. Let's see if we broke it and what we need to be doing to be breaking it if we didn't break it yet and where is the support level if we might fall back, guys. Now let's quickly jump into amazing charts that also show you a signal I have never shown you before. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart again. On the four hour chart, you can see that the buy signal again worked out perfectly fine. We are running into resistance here at 60. 
2k level where you use a level of resistance the moment we break it we will definitely go to the 63800 level over there this uh, yellow line which is also in that blue box that's a huge area of resistance but also the target for this trade um, if you're trading on a four hour trade for example uh, that will take a couple of days before it plays out but there needs to be a breakout out of this area this area 62k we are trying to break this now already with a lot of candles as you can see i'll put a horizontal ray over there and for example over here exactly the 62k level so you can see bam there you see how many candles this one waking into it waking into it waking into it waking into it so this is the level that we need to break to become a little bit more bullish and to see bitcoin visiting 63 to 65k levels short term uh, if we look at the weekly chart i told you a couple of days ago or not two weeks ago hey this candle uh, with a huge wick to the bottom and a tiny body and a little wick to the top that's a very bullish uh, candle that will make sure the reversal of bitcoin will uh, appear now on the charts and we can see now the first candle after that last week was indecisive this week is already telling a different story this weekly candle is going to close in two days and 17 hours but we are going to move upwards towards that 50 weekly moving average over there a green line that we should be breaking and the moment we break that 65k level then it's off the races all the way to i think 84 to 92k levels again guys rsi bottom out here uh, at that 45 level now coming above that dotted line again over there which is amazing uh, we need to go and visit that 69 to 70 level over there again uh, to see that reversal reflect in the bitcoin price now I have a few more amazing charts that will show you a signal I've never shown you before so you will understand that yes it's a very good time to step into Bitcoin at the moment uh, guys if you want to trade all of these moves then use the links down below for example buy with up to 30,000 US dollar bonus and Blowfin at the moment you can win even a Tesla 3 or Ninja Kawasaki in a 15% deposit bonus use the links now let's quickly jump into those amazing charts the first one is this one guys i need to check if my face is okay i need to move my face around a little bit so it's not into uh, the charts this chart is showing or this table is showing you um, who is owning a lot of bitcoins so Satoshi nakamoto is still owning 1.1 million bitcoins binance owns 550,000 bitcoins blackrock owns 305,000 bitcoins coinbase 294,000 bitcoins grayscale 263 microstrategy 226 us government 213,000 bitcoins i think it's a little bit less now the chinese government owns 190,000 bitcoins fidelity 180,000 block one 164,000 now what can you see in this picture that is very important the important part that you can see over here is that all those huge companies if we're talking about blackrock if we're talking about grayscale fidelity all of these including the government of china including the government of the united states are trying to accumulate as much as possible bitcoins and why do they do this because they understand the importance of bitcoin for our world it's going to turn into the world reserve currency in my opinion and that is why these biggest two countries united states and chinese government both of these economical huge companies want to own a shit of the bitcoin that's why bitcoin is being unbanned in china again and why now people start to mine again because they want to own more bitcoins than for example the united states or el salvador or microstrategy or any of these huge companies like blackrock that also run the world so Bitcoin is becoming very important. You need to understand to always follow the money. You need to play the same game. Start to accumulate Bitcoin as soon as possible. Now, and that also shows on this chart, guys. On this chart, you can see the Bitcoin price and you can see the Bitcoin wallet balances by cohort. So the purplish line is a balance of 10,000 Bitcoins or more. They have been increasing tremendously, as you can see here, even in this dip. You know that crash that we had that everybody thought ah 70k all the way down here to 50k what do you see at that moment here bam an increase of the balance of 10k wallets guys and that's because they start to accumulate more and more and more bitcoin because they understand that these dips are for buying and not for crying so if the whales are doing this the whales are buying the whales are those wallets with 1k bitcoins 
and the mega wills, those with 10k bitcoins, are also doing it, you should be doing the same. You should be accumulating during these dips, guys. Now, next chart. The next chart is this one. This is a short-term chart. Uh, just showing you what gold did. So the gold spot chart is on the top left over here. You can see this is the gold chart. We were moving in this uh, pattern and then we broke out of this pattern and then took gold to 2,500 US dollar. Uh, that's for the first time ever that gold reached that level. Now, if we look now here to Bitcoin, we are exactly in the same pattern. Just that Bitcoin still needs to do the move that gold already did. If Bitcoin will do the same move than gold did, that will bring Bitcoin already to that 100k levelish. If we would do the same move that gold did now uh, before. So, and that's in 2024. It's not like a fractal of a, a couple of years ago. There's a fractal of 2024. Was my face okay? Yeah, my face was pretty okay over there. So, yes, Bitcoin is going to move, in my opinion, upwards towards the end of this year. And I think it will be between this level and 100k that we will see before the end of 2024 guys now let's see if we have another cool chart yes we have a few more this one over here this chart is uh, very important because this chart is showing us the global liquidity and if we're talking about the global liquidity we are talking about let's put my face over there we are talking about um, all the money printed by the Federal Reserve, all the money printed by the European Central Bank, the PBOC, the BOG, the BOE, the, like it's all the money moving around in our world. So every time when that liquidity, the global liquidity moves up, that's also when we see a Bitcoin move up. Now look to the orange line, that's Bitcoin now. For example, here in 2016, 17, this is the dark line, this is the global liquidity that was increasing tremendously. What did the Bitcoin price do? Create a shitload of new all-time highs. All those dark dots were all-time highs. Over here, after the halving three, same thing. The global liquidity started to increase tremendously. What did the Bitcoin price do? The Bitcoin price went up tremendously from 3K all the way to 70K. Now we had halving four. What is happening? Here, the global liquidity is at a low. The global liquidity still needs to increase. When that starts to increase, mostly after those halvings, mostly during the presidential elections, that is also when we will see that last huge run in Bitcoin all the way into 2025, guys. It is simple as that. Just analyze these charts. Every time it's the same game. We have the halving, you have the elections, and after the elections, a pump, halving, elections, pump, halving, elections, pump. It's almost as if it's planned like this. Now, then we have this chart that is showing you exactly the same. This is the blue line, that's also the global money supply. And we can see these dotted lines. Every time when the blue line breaks that previous high, that is when the bull market in Bitcoin starts. Then it tops out. Then we need to wait for that M2 again to break. And the moment that it breaks over here, that's the part where the bull market starts and goes to a new all time high. Then here, the blue line tops out. Then we can draw again a dollar line. The moment we break that dollar line, there's the moment that bull market will start again and make a new all-time high somewhere in 2025. And we are just breaking this line. It just started. We are just getting started. Just like we just got started over here. This was 3K levels of Bitcoin. Now we were at 70K level in the top over there in 2021. Over here it started when Bitcoin was like somewhere at what was it, like $80 to $200. It went to 20 k Now Bitcoin is over here at uh, 60,000 US dollar and the global liquidity, the money supply is increasing and it's now breaking that previous high. This will reflect in the Bitcoin price very soon. I believe that we will see a huge run in Bitcoin. And it's also what we see here, the GMI buy Bitcoin cycle top finder for all those people that think that yes, we already had a top in 2024. We are not even close to a top, guys. In the top, the GMI Bitcoin cycle top finder goes way above the chart, way above those tops. The black line goes way above that red line, as you can see. We are now here. We are now at the level where we were in 2019, when we went from 3K to 14K, that is the level where we are now. So this is the first small run in 2019. Then we had a smaller COVID crash in 2020. And then we went again from 3 to 4K all the way to 70K. And that is when we saw the top of that 
black line above the red line. Now we are here again at the level that we were there or at the level that we were there. Not at these levels. We are far away from these levels. We are just getting started. This will bounce from these levels and then take it up all the way above there. And that is when the top will be there in 2025, probably the end of 2025, quarter four of 2025, guys. Now my face was probably completely in the wrong place, but you know, you get the picture over there. Now my face is in the right place. And uh, now you can see the full chart, but that is how it plays out every time again and again and again. So the GMI Bitcoin cycle top finder, just go on Google and search it and you will find it. And you will understand that we are not even near the top at the moment. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, short term, beautiful volatility again, beautiful for traders. Also for the algorithm, the bot is again making nice profits. I think we started with one Bitcoin on the 11th of February this year. Uh, it is now somewhere between 1.21 Bitcoin, 1.22 Bitcoin, somewhere in that area. So yes, it's a 0.22 Bitcoins profit in those six months. That's a very good profit. That's like three and a half percent a month, just like we always say to you when we sell that bot. And please, be aware of all the scammers. I will never, never, ever, ever, ever ask you to send bitcoins to me or to any wallet to sign up to that bot. The only thing we will ask you is to fill a form, connect our bot to your exchange account. You will only be filling up your exchange account with bitcoins or whatever it is. There you will get an API key. You will send us that API key. We will connect our bot to your exchange without being able to withdraw any funds, only being able to trade. And then we start trading on your exchange. We never, ever, ever ask you to send funds to us. The only thing that we sell online is on our website, the bitcoinfamily.com or yolofamilytravel.com. That is the only thing that we sell. That's a shop with really cool t-shirts like this one, born to be free, also other kinds of stuff, caps and everything else, baby clothes, whatever, coffee mugs, all of that. You can pay directly when you order it. It's just an automatic payment processor. And yes, we also sell access to our VIP group, which is $599 per year, but also that you can only buy on our website, nothing else. You can go to the website, add it to your cart and just pay for it with crypto, or with fiat, you can choose yourself, but you can pay on the website. We will never ask you in a direct message on Telegram or Discord or whatever else to send us money. Please, I, I believe in the first half of this year, already people were scammed for over 150,000 US dollar because they believed in the fake Didi account. Yeah, but I was chatting with you. You're not chatting with me on Discord. You're not chatting with me on LinkedIn. You're not chatting with me on Instagram. You're not chatting with me on Telegram. I am not direct messaging anyone about sending money. Please don't fall for that. Yesterday, again, a guy losing almost 6,000 euros because he sent a sign-up fee for the bot to a wallet somewhere. Please stop doing that. Only on the bitcoinfamily.com that is where you can buy our products and you can see how to start up with the bot. Now, so that is a warning guys, but now uh, hopefully you enjoyed also the long-term charts, those charts that were showing you exactly that it M2 is now breaking the previous top. And whenever we do that, that is also when the Bitcoin bull run again gets a startup. So that's a signal guys, it's a very clear signal. Now, I hope you really enjoyed all that. If you want to trade guys, use the links down below the video, buy a bit at the moment, up to 30,000 US dollar deposit bonus. And on Blowfin guys, which is a non-KYC exchange, you don't need to do your passport and all the stuff, uh, you can sign up and you get a 15% deposit bonus. Plus, if you start trading, you can win a Ninja Kawasaki, a Tesla Model 3, and way more cooler prizes. I think even a watch, all that stuff. Go check it, uh, just sign up using the links down below with my code because else you won't be able to win those prizes guys now let's now jump into the last part of the video the last part of the video guys is the inspirational quote for today i'm running out of inspirational quotes so if you want to help me let me know your favorite inspirational quote down below but for today guys everybody is afraid of something and everybody has lost something and also everybody has lost something we are all the same guys don't think that you're completely different than all those other people. We all do the same thing. We look at the same moon, we look at the same sun, we look at the same stars, 
we shit on the same toilet. If you're a billionaire or a poor person, you still drink water. You still breathe the air. We are all afraid of something. We all have loved something and we all have lost something. So we have all walked our own emotional path in life. That doesn't make us better or worse than anyone else. It just makes us different in person. But in the core, we are all the same. We are all one. We are all watching that same sunset. Yeah, maybe you on another time than I am watching it, but still, it's a sunset. We're all looking at the moon and the stars in the beautiful sky, in that dark sky. We all see those same things, guys. We are the same. We are the same. And maybe you're a billionaire or a trillionaire or a gazillionaire, whatever it is. I will never feel less than you. I will feel as a human, just like you're a human. You're a very successful one. I'm also a very successful one. And there's also people that are less successful, but we are here to help those people that are less successful. That's why I'm making these videos. I am making these videos to try and get all those people that are searching for success, for example, in crypto, on a higher level so that they feel a little bit more worthy, which definitely shouldn't depend on the monetary value that they own. But most people in this world grew up that if they own a shitload of money or a big house or cars, that they feel valuable. Now, let me tell you, if you're a billionaire, a trillionaire, or if you just have $100, you are always valuable to this world. Why? Because you're a human being. The time that you spend with other people, the 10 times that you help other people, the times that you make other people happy, that's all valuable. The time that you think about Earth, the time that you throw away plastic where it belongs, that's all of value. We are all of value. The amount of money or cars or houses that you own doesn't change shit about that. Mostly, when you own more of that shit, you will be less valuable to the world. That's my honest opinion. That's why we live a minimalistic life. I just want to try with this inspirational quote, or this inspirational end of the video, to share my opinion about this. We are all afraid of something. We have all loved something and we have all lost something. We are all the same. Money doesn't make you more successful. It makes life a little bit more easy. I need to be very honest. But it doesn't mean that you're a more successful person or a more honest person or a more loving or caring person. It just means that you did really good in one part of life. And that part is accumulating wealth. And you found a trick to multiply that wealth. But that doesn't mean that you're also a very good person. Not directly because of that. You need to do way other things to become a good person as well. That's why we as a family never spend money to our Lamborghini. No, we have built a school in Mexico. Or an orphanage in Venezuela. That's where we spend money. Because we want to be a good person as well, not only a successful person. And I think that is what people need to understand. We are no different. If you see me on the streets, please say, hey, Didi, let's have a coffee. Let's grab a beer. Because more and more and more, the strangest stories get to me. I was walking on the boulevard yesterday and people recognized me, apparently. In the evening, I'm on a barbecue and on the barbecue, the people tell me, yeah, people recognize you on the boulevard. They call to my mother and Venlo to tell her that you were walking on the boulevard and they were afraid to say hello. I'm like, I'm a normal person. I shit on a toilet. I look at the same stars, the moon, and I breathe the same air. Please say hello. Hey, Didi, how are you doing? Thank you for all the Bitcoin stuff that you're educating us. Do you want a cup of coffee? For free, of course. Please don't consider very successful people different. They are still just normal people with the same norm and value that you have but sometimes they became successful in one part of life. It doesn't mean that they are not afraid of something, that they have never loved something, or that they have never lost something. They're all the same. We are all the same, guys. So that was the inspirational quote for today. Uh, not that you're now going to bomb me every day on the boulevard. With, oh, you know, I, I don't want to be an alcoholic anymore. I want to drink a little bit more healthy smoothie. So offer me a healthy smoothie, not a Bacardi Coke. <laughs> but I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Be share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the charts the news and of course also about the inspirational quote i wish you an amazing friday an amazing weekend i'm going to go into my next pedal class and of course
course in the weekend probably also a match uh, i hope you have an amazing weekend i will do a live on saturday or sunday it will only be one time this weekend because i'm still like <sighs> breathing myself a little bit i also I'm still celebrating a little bit of a holiday because the summer is very boring. So I don't want to do two AMAs in a weekend. I also want to spend time uh, to myself and I'm here with my family, my brother and everything. So yes, I'm playing a lot of pedal and of course training a lot to uh, become a little bit more healthy. Now, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing Friday. See you tomorrow or Sunday again. Bam.